Hey friends of football, you are in the right place at the right time to discuss the history and news of football on this August 6th. We have all-star games, schools becoming ineligible, and a first time in Cleveland in just a minute. So Mike and Gene, let's kick it. Pigskin Nation, we are so glad you joined us here today to talk about the history of this day in football, August 6th. Back in 1965, the 35th annual college all-star game is played before 68,000 fans as the Cleveland Browns defeated the college players 24-16 at the Windy City's famed Soldier Field. Then, August 6, 1980, five Pac-10 schools are ruled ineligible to participate in a postseason play or for conference titles as punishment for transcript and school curriculum abuses. August 6, 1983, the first ever NFL exhibition game in Europe is played as the Minnesota Vikings defeated the then St. Louis Cardinals in Wembley Stadium in London. 1995, for the first time ever, the city of Cleveland sees its NFL Browns team play an exhibition game at home, while its Major League Baseball Indians team also hosts a game on the same day. Just a quick note, if you're liking this show, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll make sure every time we post something that you get notified. Now, we have some Hall of Fame birthdays for August 6th. 1902, Harry Wilson, a starting halfback from Penn State and Army teams in the 1920s. This great athlete is not only enshrined in the College Football Hall of Fame, but his busts can also be found in the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame as well. He even lettered 12 times for the U.S. Military Academy in football, basketball, and lacrosse. Then, August 6, 1906, the birthday is celebrated by Jerry Dalrymple. He was a College Football Hall of Fame end for Tulane's Green Wave football squad. In 1931, Mr. Dalrymple was the only unanimous All-American in the nation and to this day is the only Tulane player to achieve the unanimous distinction. August 6, 1920, Steve Locke was a Duke University halfback that entered into the College Football Hall of Fame in the selection class of 1980. Mr. Locke was a first-round draft pick of the Chicago Cardinals in the 1942 NFL Draft. He was also sworn into the Navy at the same time, and due to contractual obligations with the military football team, he was unable to play as a college all-star in the 1943 edition of the College All-Star Game in Chicago against the champion Washington Redskins. During the 1943 season, he played for the Navy's Great Lakes Blue Jackets, and after his obligation of serving in the Navy expired, he played in the AAFS's New York Yankees organization and later returned to play ball in the NFL for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, that's our football news for Football Day August 6th. We hope you like the show. We hope you hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell up in the upper right-hand corner. Hit the like button and read our pigskindispatch.com articles. And now let's go into our finishing song with Mike and Gene Monroe. So roll those credits.